So the first thing I do is grab my white jumbo eye pencil and I use my ring finger to blend it out and I'm using tapping motions. So you simply just keep tapping until it's fully blended. Um, don't rub it across. You want it to be as smooth as possible. You also can do this same method with concealer. I just like to use this pencil because it works best for me. And you continue to blend until it's blended out to your satisfaction. Now I'm debating which color I'm going to use. Now I chose that one. And I went ahead and used some blush as my transitional color. Um, I bought, the, well, I didn't buy them. I got these palettes seven years ago uh, when I was in hair school. And I never used them until now. Um, because I wasn't into makeup like that. So what I do is at first I just dabbed it on and then I went and did some little circular motions. You can do the windshield motions, which is just simply back and forth um, until it's blended out. You want to make sure that each color is blended out evenly before moving on to a different color. So I'm just seeing if I needed more, which I wanted to add more. So I did and I just pat it on. Just like that, I went back and forth and now I'm going in with some circular motions. Now for my next color, I'm going ahead and go in with a plum color. And I just put it a little above my crease um, and a little bit on that transitional color, but not all over the color. And I simply just do circular motions to blend that out. Then I'm going in with this darker purple color in my outer V part of my eye in the back. And I just place that on by dabbing it. And then I do circular motions to blend it out. And with this one, I only do circular motions to blend out. And you want to continue to blend that until it's blended the way that you want it to be blended. You don't want it to be heavy packed on there. And I added a little more at the bottom. And just continue to blend that out. And you see the difference that it made already. And then I add just a little bit upward to that transitional color so it's not harsh. Now I'm just taking some concealer under my crease. And I'm just going to lightly place that on the bottom half of my lid closer to my eyelash line. And I didn't put too much. It may look like it on camera, but I didn't. Um, it just comes out a little heavy. And I tried not to blink as much because I didn't want the product to go on to the other areas that I um, put the product on. I added just a little bit more to make sure that, you know, that color is going to stand out. Now I'm taking this like champagne looking color and I'm just going to pat that on to that, um, that area that I put the concealer and I'm continue to pat it and then I'm just going to blend it out at the corners only. It looked like I'm blending the whole thing out, but I'm not. It's just at the corners. 
to blend the rest of the colors in with it. Now I'm gonna just take that blush in that plum color and kind of blend around the corners to more to make sure that it's not harsh. You want everything to be nicely blended. And I'm not a makeup guru, I just do what I like. And now for my eyeliner, um, I'm taking a wing, I mean, an eyeliner pencil to draw my wing. And what I did was I made a line from the corner of my eye upward and then I went from the top of that one and made the line over and I'm sorry I was talking to my husband at the same time and then I blend I mean I blend excuse me fill those areas in and don't worry about if you mess up on your wing because you can always simply wipe it off and do it again or use some concealer to help you now I'm going to my inner tear ducts and I'm just making that go um, connect to the rest of that line and just continue to fill that in to my liking. And so what I'm doing is just making sure that everything is nicely filled in. Um, I don't really like to use the pencils because they dry extremely fast I like using the liquid eyeliner so now I'm just going in again with that blush color and I'm using it as my transitional color as you can see I already applied the the white jumbo pencil off camera and I zoomed in so that you will be able to see more clear and I'm sorry that it looks fuzzy I'm using my tablet because my camera was dead um to do the video but I will do um, redo it on my camera the same exact look so that you'll be able to see and I'm just blending that out as I stated before and for me there's no right or wrong way to put on your eyeshadows as long as you blend those colors out you can put it on however you want um this is just how i like to put mine on um and you always have to do what works for you you can take what certain people do for their makeup and incorporate it in yours but you also have to make sure you make it your own and again, you just continue to blend everything out to make sure it's nicely blended. Add more product if needed, but not too much. Taking that dark purple and I'm adding it to the back, making it that nice V shape. And as you can see, I'm not left handed, so it's kind of hard for me to do um, the same steps on my left eye sometimes some days it turns out good and some days it don't but the more you practice and it'll get better um, for me long as they look alike in some type of way I don't really care and as far as your brows your brows are supposed to be sisters not twins I prefer mine to be twins but for the most part they will never be twins And you just continue to do circular motions to blend that purple out. And now I'm just making sure that I'm blending all of that together. I'm going in with my concealer. And it's best to have a second mirror, preferably a compact mirror, that you can have angled downward so you'll be able to see without, you know, blinking your eye so much that the product gets all over the place and I like this concealer because of the applicator brush that um, that's on there it helps to get the product on good and as you can see I kind of went over but that's okay because you can simply wipe it away and just add some makeup on there and voila it's gone
and now I'm just going to add that third and final color and just tap it on there and cover all of the concealer add more to make sure everything is nicely covered And again, that same step that I did with the concealer, you can use your jumbo pencil to do that also. Now I'm just taking the other product and I'm blending it inward at the corners only to make sure that it's no harsh line there and that it blends perfectly. Now I'm making that wing by starting off at the corner of my eye, working my way up, and then from the top, working my way over. And I'm just filling in everything that I just did. Now going to the front of my inner tear ducts and working my way um, to the back to connect that line together. I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching let me know what you think and all the things that i use will be listed in the description box down below